I've heard it said that the female police officer, the female cop, is much more dangerous than her male counterpart. That she is a lot less tolerant and a lot more baiting in her communication. And at the same time, she's a lot less willing to take any type of risk. And when I say risk, I mean any type of physical confrontation, any type of tussling. That she's more likely to draw her weapon and fire with intent to kill and rely on her femininity to paint a story of, oh, I was confused or oh, I didn't realize that I was trying to kill someone or that this was my gun and not my taser than then the male, than her counterpart is likely to do so. I just recently had an encounter with a couple of female wolves. And let me tell you something. Something is going on in society. Something is going on in our everyday lives. Something behind the scenes that we, as the average everyday so-called black men of this shit world are not privy to. Because I noticed early on, uh, before this encounter took place, that I was being followed. I noticed it. I noticed it. I think I noticed it right when it first started. I was just um, minding my own business. And I remember I was at the stoplight and I just happened to have my shades on and I glanced to the left and uh, I just happened to notice. And I look right at this female officer staring at me and her mouth was moving. And I just happened to look a little bit more to the left and noticed that this one was in the car with another one. And she was speaking. Couldn't tell what they were saying. But she was saying something, I guess, to the one next to her. Because the one next to her was looking directly at her and not at me. And once I realized that she was looking at me, I kind of tilted my head a little bit. But because, you know, the shades, you can't really see where somebody's looking which is why the secret service the special forces why they all wear shades that way you don't know where the eyes are you don't know exactly who's staring at you what they're doing because you can't tell just by head positioning alone so i thought i'd try to use something like that anyway i noticed that she's staring at me and she's saying something and what i decided to do is just deviate from my normal route and i'm driving down the street I go ahead and make a right turn. And uh, I notice she's like a couple of lanes over from me and behind me. And I'm going like the speed limit. So what I decided to do is just drop down to like maybe, you know, five miles below the speed limit. And I noticed that still, she's still a couple lanes over from me, but still behind me. And uh, I decided, okay, you want to play this game? Let's play this game. So I put on my turn signal to turn, to take a left turn. And um, once I did this, I started immediately just dramatically slowing down, right? And then she all of a sudden almost came to a full stop just so she could get behind me, right? And so I I got into the left turning lane and uh, I turned uh, onto this side street and then I pulled into this uh, gas station, right? And I pulled in and I lost sight of the... Uh, um, wolves for a minute and uh, I decided okay I'm gonna go in the store went in the store and uh, went in I grabbed a drink and I wasn't even thirsty I didn't want anything I just grabbed one just for grabbing one's sake and I was just doing it to like get a look around and I didn't see him and I was like okay they must be hiding because I, wolves are very clever creatures you know, they're, they're masters of laying traps and all kinds of deception. And uh, get in my car and I start driving off again. And I'm driving down the street and then boom, 
like from way, way back in my rear view mirror. Like I'm talking about way back, too far back to track my speed, too far back to do anything. I see like these flashing lights and I'm like, oh shit, I'm about to get stopped. And uh, sure enough, like once they got up to me, they just pulled me over. And I was like, fuck, what the hell, right? And uh, they pulled me over. And I remember thinking like, oh shit, here we go. So I grabbed my um, my self-defense unit and I tucked it inside of my, um, my right hand uh, pocket uh, just so I could get to it real quick. Um, and, uh, I looked through my, uh, what is it? The side view mirror, my left side view mirror. And I'm trying to see like, okay, are they coming out? They must've took forever. It must've been like five, maybe six minutes before they decided they were ready to come out. Now, when I tell you that I saw like a coordinated effort on their part, like I, I make no mistake. I mean, exactly that. It was like almost like a, like a pincer movement, like, I looked at the left rear view mirror and the right view, rear view mirror. Uh, I mean, the right side view mirror. And um, the both of the doors on their uh, cruiser opened up at the same time. And both girls, both wolves got out of the car at the same time. And one uh, on the like driver's side, she got up. And as she's walking up, she touches my car, which pissed me the fuck off. Um, and the other decided to stay back in like almost my blind spot where you can't really see you know even when you're driving sometimes you have to like look back to see if somebody's on the side of you she decides to stay in that area and the other one comes up immediately uh after she is done fondling my vehicle uh up to you know my window and she walks up and she looks at me and she doesn't say anything right away. She just kind of looks at me. She's staring at me. And I'm looking at her. And it's kind of like we had like a moment where we're just looking at each other. And um, we kind of lock eyes. But not like intense, like a battle lock eyes. It was just we kind of looked at each other. And she starts looking at my vehicle and looking around and. She doesn't say anything. And this is going on for like, we're probably at the 30 second mark and no one said a word. We're just observing each other. And uh, she's not saying anything. It's cold outside. Uh, so I started putting my window up, like real slow. I started putting my window up. And then um, I put it up like kind of higher than it was. And um, she's looking at me and she's like, so do you know why I stopped you? And I looked at her and I started uh, trying to do like a tactic that I don't normally do. Uh, I just looked at her and I just smiled. And then she says, so you do know why I stopped you. And I looked at her and I says, directly looking at her, I say, look, uh, I don't answer questions. And from what I can tell, you've been following me for a while. Um, I don't know what's going on, but you need to explain yourself. And she she looks at me and she smiles back and she says, well, I'm an officer. I don't have to explain myself to you. And I put my right hand in my pocket and she was like, are you OK? And I was like, well, it's kind of cold when I'm being harassed. So I don't know. And then she stopped smiling and she starts getting kind of agitated. I can tell. And she was like, harassed. Who's harassing you? Like, she's not the fucking one harassing me, you know. And I look back kind of just, well, I don't look back, but I kind of glanced to my right just to see the um, the partner, her teammate, who is just kind of shifting back and forth because it's fucking freezing outside. Um, and they they really have no real reason to stop me. But she's just, the partner or whatever, she's just shifting left and right. That motion people do when they're cold and they're standing out in the cold and it's windy. And uh, I tell her, I was like, listen, if you don't have any uh, reason, to, you know, any business with me, I'm going to leave. Uh, you can try to stop me if you want, but I don't advise that. And she says, you're being detained right now. You can't go anywhere. And I looked at her. I'm like, I'm being detained. And then she was like, is that an attitude you're giving me? And we're looking at each other and I'm just thinking, like, what the fuck is wrong with this bitch? And why the hell is she harassing me? That's what I'm thinking. 
But I'm also thinking like there is a murderous intent here from me to this entity. And uh, I remember a long time ago, a very wise man said that sometimes you have to show that murderous intent, show that you're willing to do whatever you need to do to survive. Uh, and I, I must have had like this mean scowl come over my face because I'm not even bullshitting you. She looked at me. She didn't ask me for my license. She didn't ask me for my registration. And at that point, she just said, you know what? Go ahead and go. Get out of here. And uh, I kept my right hand in my pocket um, and I reached over with my left, uh, put my car in gear and I just drove off. And they went back into their car and that was it. But I'm telling you right now, um, these motherfuckers and, and what all they're trying to do, they're trying to, I don't know, I guess establish dominance or show who they are um fuck these people man i mean that sincerely sincerely fuck these people because i mean this so-called country these so-called united states they admit in their own print in their own words that that their business and it's all about business. It's all about that money. It's all about finding who you can, bullying them, and then taking what they have. It's all about finding the motherfucker who, who won't fight back. It's about finding the so-called black man who's willing to lay down, who's willing to bend over, and just let you do whatever the fuck you want to do to him. And, and they just kind of keep living, keep existing, and growing fat and laughing over your pain, over your suffering. And I believe that if you are willing to fight back, if you are willing to do whatever you need to do to make sure you make it out of whatever the fuck situation you're in, that is the right and that is the only mindset that we as men should have, period. Because make no mistake, we are in captivity. These people, this system, while they may prey upon their own people, their objective is to prey upon you. It's to prey upon me. And I say fuck that. It's too fucking cold. It's too fucking... It's too fucking ridiculous. And it's no way to live for a man to be under someone else's boot heel. Man or woman. This system, this matriarchal system, I believe, is purposely recruiting more women. Because more women are quote unquote qualified to have these dangerous jobs and they want them in these positions because they're unstable they're unthinking and they're careless period there is no such thing as female intuition as long as I've been alive I've never truly met a mother including my own or a woman that I could consider to be genuinely perceptive to the everyday general dangers that we face continuously from just existence on the earth, period. The female wolf is a very dangerous creature because she has something to prove to the male wolves. And we as the so-called black men need to be vigilant. And we need to display our murderous intent.